Hi, this is Tim. And this lesson, we're going to talk about how to control a discrete output based off of a 4 to 20 milliamp signal in structured text. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. But okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and see how will we do this in structured text. Because we've set, we've spelled it out almost. Really, if you go back to our ladder here, we've said if the ladder, or let's say if the value is less than 12 or the ladder is less than 14 and the motor is running or our pump is running or our heater is running, whatever, then turn on the output. Oh, we can type that out in structured text. So if we go over here and we edit this, and yeah, we're going to go to the next line and we're going to type if. And you start typing and then you know one, all your instructions are going to come up. So if you're not sure, you know, there it is, if. And we can even mouse over it and okay, if then, that's what we're doing. So we're going to double click there. And so the first thing was that our scaled, and one, okay, this case we're going to use the scaled structured text is greater than our MA. And remember, you know, this was cool. Even though it's structured text, I, I would always use the drop down because I'm, I'm not a great typer. But our milliamp set point. So there's our first condition. Or, now let's make sure we get our parentheses right, is now we're just going to put or, and now I need a parentheses because same grouping we had to do in function block, we've got to do over here. So the and came first, and then we had the or. So order operation, this gets the parentheses to make sure that we evaluate it first. So or, and this will be scaled function block structured text. Oops, I made a mistake. Is that greater than or was that less than? Those were less than. So less than, and this will be scaled structured text. Oops, lost my mouse, there we go. Is less than, and this was the MA off. And, now we need that and, and we're just typing it out exactly like we would. And, local colon, and we're going to change, yeah, we're going to change this so you can see the green light. So we are going to use local colon one dot data. Now remember, if you're going through this just like I am, then you're going to need to go back, and just like I'm getting ready to do, and edit that other one. So if the scale structure text is less than milliamp, or the structure test, structured text level is less than milliamp off, and that then, oops, actually then I would put, no, nah, I would put it that way probably. Which way would it go? I don't even know how I would do it, but it's cool. You can put it anywhere. This was kind of terrifying about structured text. But, so if it's true, then we're going to make local colon one colon o dot data dot zero colon equals, because remember, that's how we make it do something, one semicolon. Else if I said else now notice there I put else and I even pause for a second it's like which one is it so we have an else and we have an else if so we could have multiple conditions but in this case we're going to use the else local colon one colon o dot data dot zero colon equals zero semicolon and then we need an end if. And really, these should be lined up differently, and everybody has a different preference on this. And I don't know how I'll do it. I probably do that. Um, somebody else might say the intention should be different. But I usually have a typo in this, so first, let's hit the verify button. Statement, line number five, statement, there you go. I'm gonna do it 90% of the time. I'm gonna forget one of these semicolons. And so what this means, not terminated by a colon, line five. So I'll tell you exactly where the problem is. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna hit my verify button again, just to make sure. And we're looking good. Now let's go to that function block routine though. And let's edit it. And I changed the other one to a one. So let's change this to a two. And in this case, we'll change this to a two. And that will do all that. All right, and now if we get our structured text, and here's where, yeah, 
noticed that while I was editing, I couldn't see the values. And I think they made a good compromise. I wish this was the default value or maybe they just, I don't know. If you do not know that you can look at these values and structured text, it can be a nightmare to troubleshoot. But all right, we are at 14.3 milliamps. Uh-oh, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong here. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Here's our scaling. That's our scaling. Here's where we're at. 14.3 has to be less than 12, or 14.3 has to be less than 14, and our output be on. Now, one thing to notice is we don't have a description here, and I would not... And I would knock people pretty hard on this. As you notice, if you go here, there's no way to actually put the descriptions in. So what you have is you can add descriptions to each line. And let's do that really quick. So I can go out here and I can go slash slash. And I can put that this is scaling analog input. And I can put slash slash. Oh, determines if our I don't know what are we even calling this now we're just going to call it our green light green light should be on and then, yeah this one's obvious probably but I could throw something on it anyway turns green light on and finally this one's going to be turns green light off all right and we put that in there because that's going to see see these description here's where you know structured text gets a bad rap because people don't use the tools available and the one tool is these descriptions the other is being able to see these values let's see if this works so we're going to go down to 12 and we should see well one we should share green light come on then also right here we should see this turn to a one and also if we bring our watch window back where did I watch one go? Did I close that? I think I did. Yes, I did. Let's go view, watch, and then let's add five since we did use five for the function block. So they're all off. I'm going to bring this down to 12.1 and Okay, and so this is looking for it to be less than 12, and it's off, and we see all of them are off here. We'll drop it to 11, 9. Right away, all of these come on. And we can see, yeah, 11, 9 is definitely less than 12, or 11, 9 is less than 14. That's also true now. And the pump or whatever, the green light is now on. So both of these are true now, and, you know, I will not get too far into it but i think this is still a little difficult to troubleshoot as far as turning on bits and things so if you expect a technician to be able to go through the structured text i think you better you know make sure that they are trained for it it shouldn't be they should be trained for it but really i would have this in either i would, it would again it's regional if it's if it is um ladder then the physical outputs now i use structured text all the time and in fact um I'm going to critique one of my recent programs soon where actually I use structured text function blocks and ladder diagram and it wasn't intentionally it was just the way the program worked out but okay let's go up to 14 well actually let me bring up a 13.9 and they're all ones now I want to bring up the 14.1 and we can see right here is what we're looking for and that's going to go to zero so this right here works exactly the same as this right here which works exactly the same as this right here so there are three ways that you can do this i'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description till next time hey this is still and this is amber of tw controls we run the automation store hey thanks for finding our channel here's a playlist with some similar videos and youtube thinks you'll like this video please like our video and subscribe to our channel and if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.